Overall, the mood board presents a collection of striking, mostly black and white images, featuring a consistent, high fashion aesthetic. There's a blend of editorial style portraits, runway shots, and abstract compositions. Do you want to dive deeper into specific details? In today's video, we're going to be testing out Google's new Gemini 2.0 with voice to voice and screen sharing capabilities. My goal is to use this tool in a practical application to help me with tasks related to running my business and creative directing my brand. I made a little vibe mood board in Cosmos for the month of December, and I'm going to break down the art direction, lighting, photography, and more using a real-time AI assistant. If you want to try this out yourself, all you have to do is come here to Google AI Studio, just, just aistudio.google.com. I'm testing out the new Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental Model. Okay, so let's start recording and then add a video source. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Can you see this? I'm in the Google AI Studio. Yes, I can see your screen now. It looks like you're in the Google AI Studio. Okay, what about now? Now I see a mood board with different fashion images, mostly in black and white, featuring models and designs from brands like Balenciaga and Ambush. Okay, I'm going to scroll through this mood board. I don't want you to say anything. Just watch me scroll through the mood board, analyze each of the images, and then I'm going to scroll back up. And when I reach the top of the page, we'll do an analysis together, okay? Understood. I will observe silently as you scroll through the mood board and await your signal to provide an analysis. Okay, here we go. I'm scrolling through the mood board now. Still scrolling. Okay, now I've reached the bottom and now I'm going to scroll back up to the top. Okay, I am following your scroll back up, observing the images. Okay, that's the entire board. Please give me an overview of all the images that you saw. Certainly. Overall, the mood board presents a collection of striking, mostly black and white images, featuring a consistent, high fashion aesthetic. There's a blend of editorial style portraits, runway shots, and abstract compositions, creating an interesting dynamic. The recurring themes include strong silhouettes, graphic lines, and a generally dark, moody atmosphere. The images have a common thread of sophistication and avant-garde sensibility, which I find interesting. Do you want to dive deeper into specific details? Yes, let's dive into specific details. I'm curious to hear more of your thoughts. Let's start with the Balenciaga image on the top left. The way the oversized coat is styled, creating a dramatic silhouette, really emphasizes the brand's focus on avant-garde shapes. The almost architectural feel of the garment is striking. I see that it's a more direct representation of their brand identity. It's very clean and graphic, with a strong use of black and white, emphasizing the brand's name and minimal aesthetic. I notice the hand's position. It is quite intentional, adding a layer of intrigue and almost an art deco quality. It contrasts well with the more dynamic shots in the rest of the mood board. What are your thoughts on this one? I think this one's cool. I think it works well as a print ad. I feel like the weight of the Balenciaga name carries the image. It's not really giving much of an indication that it's Balenciaga other than the enormous word mark on the page. So I feel like this type of image might not be as effective for my brand because it's a smaller brand. But I am curious to know your thoughts as to how I can maybe incorporate elements of this image for art direction and creative direction for my own brand. That's an excellent question. While the overt branding might not be a direct fit, you could adopt elements like the strong typography and the stark use of black and white. The focus on clean lines and a minimal layout can create a sense of sophistication, even without a large word mark. The key will be to apply these principles in a way that feels authentic to your brand's voice. Would you be open to exploring other images from the mood board for specific visual cues we could use? Yes, let's go back to the mood board. I'm going to pick a specific image and then I want to discuss the art direction. Here's the image. I see the selected image. It's a fashion shot featuring a model wearing a white hijab, a long-sleeved white top, and a light blue skirt. The text on the image says, Sunray skirt, with skirt, and available now, displayed in a smaller font underneath. The composition is quite straightforward and clean, with a neutral background. What aspects of the art direction are you interested in discussing? I really like the soft gradient from white to pale blue to dark blue. The soft gradient from white to pale blue to dark blue is indeed a key element of this image. It creates a subtle sense of depth, and the colors are very gentle and calming. What specifically do you think this gradient achieves in terms of the overall art direction? I think that the gradient adds uh, a unique and interesting aspect that 
makes this white cyclorama image pop more than if it was just a white background. I'm curious to know how this was achieved. Do you assume that maybe this gradient was added in post-production or do you think lighting in the moment created this color balance? That's an insightful observation. The gradient does add a unique and interesting aspect to the image, making it pop more than a plain white background would. It's a good question as to how this effect was achieved. While it's difficult to say definitively without knowing the exact process, I think it's likely that a subtle color gradient was applied in post-production rather than relying solely on the lighting setup. Would you be interested in discussing how the lighting and post-production can be used together to create this result? Yes, I'm curious more so about the lighting. Can you elaborate on the lighting that would appear to be used in this image? Certainly. Focusing on the lighting, it appears to be a soft, diffused light source, likely coming from the front, which minimizes harsh shadows and gives the image a clean, even illumination. The absence of strong shadows is crucial for achieving this light gradient. It suggests the use of a large softbox or diffuser, which are common tools in portrait photography. The light wraps around the model, gently fading from bright to a slight darker tone toward the bottom of the frame. Do you notice anything specific about the way the light interacts with the most clothing? I'm seeing soft shadows shadows on the right side of the model, the model's left side of her cheek and her left shoulder appear to be in the soft shadows, which I believe implies there is a key light in front of and to the right of the subject or camera left. What do you think? Is my assumption accurate? Yes, your observations are very accurate. The soft shadows you're noticing on the right side of the model's face and her left shoulder indicate that the key light is positioned slightly to the front and camera left. This position allows the light to wrap around the subject, giving the soft, even lighting. Do you have any thoughts on what type of light modifiers might have been used to achieve this diffused effect? Maybe a softbox like you were saying. Can you elaborate on using a softbox to achieve this diffused light? Of course. A softbox is a light modifier that creates a large, soft light source. It works by encasing a light within a box with a translucent front, which diffuses the light as it passes through. This creates a very even and soft illumination, minimizing harsh shadows. It's also a common technique to use a large diffuser in combination with a light source. The larger the modifier, the softer the light as it spreads the light out, rather than a small concentrated source. Do you think the use of a softbox would be more or less beneficial compared to direct light in this kind of fashion photography? Well, the softbox, it seems, is essential in this type of fashion photography. A direct light source would probably create much sharper contrast with deeper shadows. Let's go back to the mood board and pick apart another one of these images. Here's an image of a photo studio set up with an umbrella and what appears to be a diffuser. Can you take a look at this and explain to me the equipment and how the pieces are arranged? Certainly, let's break down this photo setup. It looks like a fairly standard studio arrangement. Starting with the lighting, there's a large octagonal softbox as the main light source, which is set up to diffuse and soften the light. A large diffusion panel is used to create a broader, more even light, and two additional light sources are positioned on stands, likely used for fill or background illumination. The various stands are for mounting lights and diffusers. This setup is versatile, allowing for a variety of different lighting styles, depending on the desired effect. Does that make sense? Yeah, if you were to guess, how much do you think it would cost to rent this entire lighting and studio setup? That's a good question. Based on the equipment visible, renting this kind of setup would likely cost between $200 to $500 per day. This is an estimate as rental costs can fluctuate quite a bit depending on location, the specific brands of the equipment. It's also important to note that this doesn't include the actual studio rental fee, just the gear. What do you think of that rough estimate? Yeah, sounds about right. Okay, great. Is there anything else you'd like to know about the setup or anything else I can help with? What am I looking at here? This is another image of lighting equipment. These are two octagonal softboxes of different sizes. These are also set on stands with the power cables attached. Softboxes are used to soften and diffuse the light, creating a more even and pleasing illumination. Let's break down the lighting and art direction for this image. What are your key takeaways just by looking at it? Okay. Let's analyze this image. The lighting is very even and slightly diffused, suggesting a large soft source, possibly a softbox or large diffuser panel. The light is aimed directly at the subject, 
creating minimal shadows, which helps to highlight the garment's shape and texture. The art direction has a minimalist approach, focusing on the subject against a neutral backdrop. The model's pose and attire, a long coat with strong, straight lines, create a strong sense of modern elegance. The muted colors and overall composition evoke a high fashion editorial style. Does that analysis make sense? It seems like there is both soft lighting and hard lighting going on here. There's diffused light from a soft box, but there's also an incredibly hard shadow. What does that mean as far right. as the lighting setup? You're right to point that out. The presence of both soft and hard light suggests a mixed lighting approach. While the soft box provides the main, diffused light that minimizes shadows and creates a generally even illumination, the hard shadows likely result from a more focused light source, possibly a spotlight or direct flash used to add contrast and highlight specific features, such as the texture of the coat. The use of a mixed lighting can be effective to give dimension to an image. Imagine a studio setup. The model is standing in front of a neutral backdrop. Slightly in front of the model and to the side is a large softbox, which is the primary source of light, providing overall diffused illumination. There is also a more focused light source, positioned higher than the softbox and slightly off axis, which casts the hard shadow you can see on the backdrop behind the model. The camera is positioned directly in front of the model. Does that help you visualize the setup? Yes, I'm going to give you an additional image. I want to compare the two images together. Here is the image of one model, and I want to compare that to the image of the other models. So here they are. They're side by side. Can you see this? I understand. You've presented another image with a different model so we can compare the two. They're side by side now, correct? Correct. I see that you've put the two images side by side so we can analyze and compare them together. What would you like to focus on in this comparison? I want to compare the lighting techniques used. It would appear that both of these images are using mixed lighting, but the image here on the right seems to be softer. The lighting seems to be softer. I'm curious what your thoughts are. You've got a great eye for detail. You're right, both images use a mixed lighting approach with soft and hard light, but there are subtle differences in how they're applied. In the image on the left, you can see that the hard shadow is more prominent and defined. On the right, the hard shadows are much less defined, and it appears that the soft lighting is the more prominent light source. This does make the image appear softer. Do you want me to elaborate on other comparisons? Can you just explain in a little more depth? Certainly. In the first image, the stronger hard light source is likely positioned in a way that creates a clear contrast, emphasizing the sharp lines of the model's clothing and her figure. This can be achieved by using a direct spotlight with a narrow beam. In the second image, although there's still a hard light source, it appears that the light is diffused or placed further away. This reduces the harshness of the shadows and allows the softbox lighting to take over and provide the main illumination, which creates a softer overall look with less contrast and a more even gradient between the highlights and the shadows. Does that explanation make sense to you? Yes, perfect, thank you. All right, so I'm going to be using this for probably hours every day to analyze all my favorite images and have the AI help me with general tasks on my computer. Now that it can watch me while I work, and commentate on what I'm doing, I have a feeling I'm about to 10x my output. If you want access to the system instructions that will get the Google AI to act as an expert creative director, let me know in the comments. If you want access to all of my resources like my whiteboards, PDFs, slide decks, custom GPTs and more, link is in the description. Please like and subscribe if you found this interesting or valuable. It helps me out so much in the algorithm. See you in the next one.